We can create this rendered isometric that we can turn into an exploded diagram in just a few steps. Our first step will be in the floor plan. We'll want to select the marquee tool just up here. Make sure that it's on all floors for the method. We'll select from top left down to bottom right hand corner. We'll right click and we'll go show marquee in 3D. This will bring us to our 3D view. From here, we'll want to go to view, 3D view options, 3D projection settings. We'll go custom AXO, isometric AXO. From here, we'll click and drag our camera just up to the top until we've got the axis length at 1000 for all of them. This is just positioning the camera and what side of the building it's going to show. I'll set mine to here and we'll go OK. I'll double click middle mouse to center in the view. Next up, I'll turn on my cut plane just up here. I'll grab the scissors and bring them all the way down it's just to where the door is and we'll go finalize. We'll want to save this view, right click up top, go save view as, symmetric, and we'll go create and it will show up just over here. Next up, I want to right click the plane that we just created. I want to reverse the cut plane direction and this is going to do our roof portion. Same process, right click, save view. I'll call this one roof isometric, we'll go create and that way I can flip between the two very quickly. Now to actually render this out, we'll go to options, we'll go to document, and we'll go to creative imaging. We'll go to photo render settings, which will bring up this panel just here. Next, we'll click this black space just here. It's going to give this little warning just here. We'll just click resolve and we'll go update 3D window. We'll click in the center again. And this time it will give us a proper preview. From here, I'll zoom in. I'm going to create another cut plane just from the bottom, just up until about here. And we'll go finalize. This cuts away a little bit of the visual bulk. Preview it again. Now, just before we do hit the render button down here, we'll want to go to size, which is going to have a massive impact on how clear your image is going to look. So once we have selected size, let's unlock and type in 400, 260 and 400. So next up, let's hit render. This one took just under seven minutes, but if we zoom in, we've got a lot of detail on the ferns as well as the brickwork and everything else. But we want to create an isometric. So we'll go to our roof we created earlier. We'll zoom in until it's framed just right. We'll refresh and hit resolve again. Update the 3D window. Scroll till it's the right size. Refresh. I'll redefine my current window setting. That way I don't have to reposition it each time I go back and forth. From here, I'll go to the size, typing in the previous size I mentioned, 400, and hit render. And just under a minute, we've got our render. Now we want to turn it into an isometric like this. So in the view map just over here, I'll create a new detail. Right clicking details and go new independent detail. We'll isometric and we'll go create. From here on the top bar, I'll go back to my render. I'll right click and I'll go copy. I'll go back to the detail, right click and I'll go paste. And here's my first render. I'll do the same thing with my other render, copy. I'll paste this one in. I'll drag it on down just below. But we want to compress them down. Right click, place on layer, and I'll place this one just here. So from here, I'll go control D and I'll tap control once to duplicate the view. I'll offset the edge and crop this one down to here and do the same for this one just up here, but up to the roof. I'll bring this one down. I'll zoom into this post just here, just on this right hand side, all the way up. I'll do the same for this garage wall just here. I'll go control K to rescale. I'll go OK. Select this post just here and this garage wall just here and I'll bring it so it's in line with the line just here. Now to bring these two images even closer, I'll create some nodes on the edge just here and bring this view all the way down, which means I'll also need to create some nodes on this view just here as well and here. So I'll line those up so they all meet in this one just up here. I'll crop the side in just here. One last line here and we're almost done. To avoid wasting time starting from scratch, every single tutorial file with all their presets is now available for download. Link is in the description. For more shortcuts and tutorials, check out this video just over here.